What the heck is an MLS? Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and what the heck is an MLS, and why is it important to you, the homeowner? Well, frankly, it's probably the most important, most powerful tool that a homeowner can get access to, and the only way you can get access to the MLS is through a real estate agent. And honestly, without it, there would be no real estate agents. Here's something you probably don't know, that locally in North Central Washington, there's more than one MLS. You probably didn't even know that. There's two multiple listing services locally, and that's the start. MLS stands for Multiple Listing Service. Here's how it works. Real estate agents join this software, they join this club, where they agree to cooperate. And see, it's important that your home goes on the MLS as a listing, multiple listing service, because when an agent lists your home, they put it on the multiple listing service for other agents to look at. And when that other agent logs on and looks to see what's available, they see your home and they see the price and all of the details. They also see the photos and they get to decide whether or not that home's a good fit for buyers they're working with. And there's something you need to know. 94% of all buyers use a real estate agent to buy a home. So if you want to get your home in front of 94% of all the buyers, you're going to want to get your home in front of all of the brokers, all of the agents. And you do that through the multiple listing service. Now there's something really important. When the agent logs on, they're going to look at your photos, they're going to look at your description, and they're going to look at your details and decide whether or not it's a good fit for the buyer. They're also gonna look at how much they get paid. See, this is where the cooperation comes into play. It says how much the agent's gonna get paid if they sell your home. It's called the cooperating commission. And that is the power of the MLS. I list your home on the MLS. All of these other brokers and agents get to look at the home and decide whether or not they wanna sell it. Well, I'm really good at getting other agents to wanna sell your home. Just like I'm really good at getting other buyers to wanna buy your home. Now here's the catch, not all agents are members of both MLS. So if you list your home in one, but not the other, you're missing out on agents. And agents have buyers, so that's really important. Now there's more to an MLS than that. See, an MLS is where the data is stored. And that's where we go to find out what things have sold for so we can tell you what your home was likely to sell for in the future based on what other people have sold for. So it's important. So by having a relationship with me, I can get you all the information that I have access to. That's pretty cool too. Also what it does is it stores the information and that information is then pulled from different websites. So if you want your home on the market on different websites, like other agency websites, it comes from the MLS. So if your home never makes the MLS, it's not gonna make all those different websites, including Zillow and Trulia and Realtor.com. So that's the power of MLS. It's a place in which other brokers and agents can find your home and sell it to buyers and know that they're gonna get paid and know that I'm gonna pay them or you're gonna pay them. And it's also where the information comes from that goes to all these websites that you like to search on, all these different agent websites including Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com. So that's the power of the MLS, and that's something you need to know. In fact, you need to know that there's probably more than one, and you probably should ask your agent that you're interviewing to sell your home, whether how many MLS they're available to, and if they're missing out on any.